this week we're going to talk about Israel. So, Israel is a hot topic. It is a hot button uh, topic. Uh, there is kind of two ends of the spectrum. We're going to jump right into the deep end tonight. Uh, there are two different phrases that we need to understand. One is this phrase, Zionism. The other one is called replacement theology. These end up as two ends of the spectrum. I could put it on the whiteboard and just basically put those two words, Zionism and replacement theology, with a line, but same idea. So at one end is this, at the other end is this. They are essentially opposite. Uh, Zionism speaks of how Israel is still the apple of God's eye, his chosen people, his, uh, his special nation, his called out ones, that Israel, uh, God has special promises to them, special covenant with them through Abraham, which is different than the new covenant, and so there's a separation, and this is Zionism over here. At this end of the spectrum is something called replacement theology. Uh, I, say, I say called replacement theology because nobody actually claims the term. It's actually more of a slur, a theological slur, that is used against certain people. They say, oh, you're a replacement theologian. But nobody's going around saying, well, I believe replacement theology. The slur essentially means that you believe that the church replaced Israel. Now, to the Zionist over here, the concept is that the church is an afterthought, that God always was focused on a little nation in the Middle East called Israel, the descendants of Abraham, and that that has always been his focus. They are his, his main people. But inside of this system of thought, the church came along as plan B. The concept being Jesus shows up as the Jewish Messiah. He is rejected. Uh, Jesus takes the messianic kingdom back into heaven with him. And then he turns and he goes to the Gentiles for a time. He sends his, his followers to the Gentiles. And so we have a season of history called the church age or the age of grace. But the church age concept is that the church is God's plan B. He thought of it later, and then we went in that direction for the last 2,000 years. And then at some point, he'll rapture us out of the way, and then he'll get back down to hanging out with his Jewish people. And that is Zionism. That is the concept here. What is said about replacement theology, what is said about replacement theology, to say that again, is that this concept over here is that the church replaced Israel. Now, nobody is actually ever saying that. That is the accusation that gets thrown at this group of people. Inside of this group of people, there are uh, most, actually most of church history, almost all of church history, right up until 1948, when a secular atheist nation in the Middle East was renamed Israel and given back to the Jewish people. When that happened in 1948, then Zionism came and was created to this huge extent. But before that, for about 1900 years, church history was what we would call replacement theology. It was the concept that the, the nation of Israel then gave birth to the Messiah, Jesus, and then he had Jewish followers. He started a Jewish early church, which then expanded and then Roman, uh, Romanized and took over the, the world, essentially, of that day, and that the kingdom is both Jew and Gentile. It's one new man, as Paul calls it in Ephesians chapter 2. And so replacement theology, there's nothing being replaced. It's essentially the next sequence of events is that you go from the Messiah to the followers to the early church to Jews and Gentiles. Nobody's being replaced. The concept of the old law and sacrificial system is being replaced by a trust in Jesus, by a faith like Abraham that is a saving faith. So there actually is no such thing as replacement theology, but there's a lot of confusion that surrounds it and a lot of accusation as well. 
So we have these two very different perspectives. One that's just natural, progressive, what most of us probably, it makes sense to us, that then there's Jew and Gentile, both are saved through Jesus. Or over here, you have Zionism, which comes with a lot of very specific end time uh, baggage as well. So you have two very polar opposites. Somewhere, it has to start sometime. What better place than here? What better time than now? Oh, hey! 